Steady, Nathan. Steady now. No sudden movements. Steady. Problem with the high stakes table, Nathan. A few bad hands and you can lose everything. Your Zeppelin, your money, your plane. A man should never mix his champagne with poker. Good spirits lead to bad wages. <sighs> oh, pardon the intrusion, Cher, but a shrewd gambler always collects his debts early. So long, Nathan. Well, I trust I was a gentleman last night. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have a plane to catch. Yeah, well, you win some, you lose some. <laughs> I still have your Zeppelin! Betty, you out there? Read you loud and clear. Where the hell you been, Nathan? I had to hit Joe solo. I'm sorry about that. I got a little hung up. How much did you make off with? A couple grand. I'm afraid we're gonna need more than that. What do you mean? I had a little problem in the high stakes poker room last night. What kind of problem? Gambling problem. Thibodeau cheated me out of the Pandora. You gambled away our zap? Rendezvous over Calico Bay. I'll fill you in on the details as soon as I So this is Crimson Skies High Road to Revenge. We're on Xbox Series X, taking a look at this absolutely classic, and I think for those that played it, very well loved flying and battling sort of experience. So what we're getting here is a 4K resolution. You know, obviously it is, uh, I guess letterbox maybe is the term, but you know, obviously it's not a full widescreen, but you know, basically they've pumped up the resolution and it looks absolutely fantastic. We have auto HDR support, and this is an absolute gem of a game. So if you've been following the, the channel to some degree, you, you might know that I have been for quite a while trying to find my physical copy of Crimson Skies. I didn't find it. But the game is obviously now on Game Pass, and since it's first party, I imagine it will probably stay there eternally, so I feel fine mentioning that in the context of the video. With that aside, this game is an absolute blast. It is a very well done, unique sort of dogfighting and shooting and adventure type of game. It is a delight, it is fun, it still holds up today and it is quite a, a charming time. If you've seen from that opening there, you know, obviously they got a, a little bit of a, a more mature angle to it, but we basically live in this time, I, I guess it's a bit of alternate history, where, you know, there's these big kind of sky-type wars and everything like that, and, you know, we're a, a bit of a, a pirate, I guess, I don't know, there's like, you know, pirates in the, in the sky, sky pirates or whatever that you deal with, and you you know, kind of find your way in there, and you're trying to make your money, and obviously you can tell there's a big gambling thing that's going on. So, you're out here getting the job done. This is like a bit of a tutorial area set up in order to introduce you to the mechanics, and I think it still looks absolutely lovely and charming. It really does feel expansive. And it's a FASA studio, so no wonder I liked it so much. What a, what a shame those guys aren't still around. Anyways... You've got the, the campaign, and then you've also got a sort of, like you can do split screen multiplayer here still, so if you want to do that and face off against others, like I used to do back in the day, you know, that's obviously still an option. You know what's also really funny is I, I could literally like shoot Betty here and fail the mission, even though it was my teammate, so I think that's kind of entertaining. But. Uh, yeah, it, it's just like a really cool, well done, unique flying game that has some, you know, fun with the concepts of the different plane type options that you deal with. And yeah, it's just, it's really, really cool to be experiencing this game and, and sharing this game 
and kind of going over it. it. It really, to me, this was uh, you know something I, I really, really loved back in the day. Uh, it's so great that more people are able to now more easily check it out because I, I think this is one of those gems, and it's something that I've sat there for a long time thinking, hey, you know, this would be a really cool property to revisit uh, in in the modern times. I, like, I mean, you could probably have to, like, reboot it entirely, you know, obviously, to uh, give it a fresh start, but I, I think the concept of Crimson Skies is a, a really, really good one. You know, there's not really too many games like this nowadays that do the whole flying, especially if there's like a bit of a story and a more mature style to it. I just, I think it's really quite cool that this is an option. And I mean, it looks really, really good for its time, especially with like the upgraded uh, sharper resolution. Uh, I think that helps a, a lot for the, the detail of the environment and just adding more to the longevity of this one, which I think is fantastic. Now, obviously not having widescreen is uh, a bit disappointing, but you know, it's, it's still a, a great time regardless. It's like they're coming behind me, that's not good. And the music is like really epic too, I just want to say that. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm a little... Didn't, didn't remember the music being so intense and awesome in this one. But it's very well done. And, and the cutscenes look pretty good too. I, I mean, obviously they're, they're pretty small box style, but... Yeah, I thought the cutscenes, like the, the quality and everything like that, are actually quite well done for the era. I was quite impressed. The whole production on this one, pretty, pretty well done. And I mean, this really does feel like some kind of crazy you know, tropical type of paradise place, especially with like the backdrop and everything like that. It, it still has a good sense of like immersion to it, which I think is awesome. Let me blow this up here. There we go. Yeah, I don't want to damage the Pandora. You get your plane upgrades, but look how cool this thing is. All right, that should do it. Let's board the Pandora. Who's gonna fly it? We need Big John. He took off during last night's card game. Until we track him down, I'll have to do my best. Like the water looks really good. And, ah, man, this is just awesome. Like seriously, just the such a nostalgia thing on here. This is one of those like of the original Xbox ones that I had. Mission review. So you got quite a crew here. Like this, I, like the amount of detail and stuff in this is actually really amazing for its time. Seriously, choose your mission. I don't have any more planes. Can we upgrade the plane? Not enough to upgrade my plane. Oh well. And obviously the loading is like instant now, which is super cool. Look at that cool. It's got the cards. Like, just think of how cool it would be to get this one upgraded, or even do like a port upgrade of it would be really awesome. I got us here, didn't I? We need Big John. You're right. Let's find him. Now well, let's head to the mission, I guess. Okay. Mason, good to see you. Doc, it's been a while. How you been? I've had better days. There he is. Those are some cool looking planes. These guys friends of yours? No, unfortunately these men are trying to kill me. Hello, Zagreb. This ain't your business. I'm making it my business. Nathan, Doc's in trouble. Yeah, it looks like we got an epic action packed flying battle. Look how cool the explosions and everything look. Oh, this is awesome. <laughs> this is really awesome. Uh, 
Where did they go? Oh, you're down here. I don't know how the guy's not dead yet, he's literally on fire. <laughs> there we go. Sounds like Tibido's type of racket. I'll see what I can do about it. You're a good friend, Nathan. Follow me to my station. I'll repair your plane. It's so cool looking. Like, oh look, there's a bar over there, guys. Right on the corner of another bar. That's funny. Doc, any idea where I might find Big John? He took a job running cargo for a local arms dealer. Shouldn't be hard to track down. There you go. Plane's good as new. Good luck finding Big John. If you need any repairs, just stop by the station. Thanks, Doc. I got another objective here, mission thing. Boss, let's bust up the Cajun's fuel scam. Show what happens when you mess with a friend of the fortune hunters. Follow me. Aye, aye. Seriously, this music is really good for this. The tanks are scattered throughout the area. Hit anything that looks like it might hold fuel. Come on, we got a boat in there now. Hey, some fish you've talking in our fuel tanks. Now we're cooking with gas. Got it. It's also cool that technically this is kind of like semi-open world, if that makes sense. Like, it's like a hubbed open world area where you basically go and you take your different missions. I mean, you've been seeing that as we're playing, but, you know, that's more of like a newer thing for games. Or you, you think of it as being something that only the newer type games actually do. So to me, that's really cool as well. Oh, some tight flying. Oof. I'm gonna go back there. There was definitely something cool in that area. I want that. It's like an upgrade token. Really, I'm just damaging my plane like crazy going into this area. That tank's on empty. Can I fly in there to do that? Oh, jeez. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, that was, that was some risky flying. Oh, there's another one in the middle here. <laughs> oh, wow, I'm not going to go get that one. That's, like, in the middle of something there. Damage my plane a little bit. This is just still so much fun to play. I gotta wonder why this the bad guys here are putting their fuel tanks, like, spreading them out like this. You think you just put it in one area. Like, I feel like it'd be hard to like send fuel to all of them, or maybe the idea is they're hard to get the, to the flights or the fuel of this stuff. I don't know. Seems like an odd idea of a concept for where you put your fuel. And again, it's it's a game. <laughs> I want to get that thingy, but I don't really want to damage my vehicle anymore. I can use repair oh! Mission failed because of that? That wasn't very smart of me. Yeah, let's do it. This time I won't be so reckless and go for all the fun token upgrade things. It's an 
now we know where we're going. They're probably like, wow, this guy easy. He must have looked up some pre-game plans or something. Know where all our fuel is. I can't believe I actually missed that one. Fuel for the fire. Fuel for the fire. That's pretty funny. I really like like the hero character in this, and Benny and stuff. Ah, it's just like such a such a great game. Seriously, it's really special to be back here playing this. And that water, just oh man. That tank's on empty. Ignition. Light torque makes and only two tanks left. All oh, for humanity. Whoa, 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 we are on fire. I wonder if I can actually fly back and go get health. <laughs> One sec, guys, just gotta gonna go see the doc. Hey doc, just uh, just a bit of fire. I guess I should have done this last time. It's like brand new. This cost me a bit of money, but totally worth it so that I don't fail this mission again. Actually, did I get the, uh... I did, I did, okay. It was the other one I had issues with, right? Down you go. Alright, so let's, let's take this really easily. Oh, jeez. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh! <laughs> oh. I'm not trying to be too tricky. I'm not good enough. Yeah, what happens is I, I blow myself up in my plane because I can't stop myself from going through stupid caverns and that. That's funny. See, I am pretty effective if I'm not fooling around. I just love how like interactive the plane is too. You can see all the little like stuff kind of like all the little technical details on the plane. Just a, a very well put together game with a cool, cool looking plane thing. Did I not get that? I think I messed up on that one. That's because it was meant for me to get this. I think, right? Did I get that? I think I got it. That tank's on empty. My support tank, and only two tanks left. I I literally can't believe that I actually missed that. Just wrap around here, get that one again. Okay, nice and slow, nice and slow. Rockets. Oh, there was one in the middle somewhere that we gotta get. Very well. Down it goes. God, this music is intense. Nice work, Nathan. 
That was easy enough. Guess the Cajuns just ran out of gas. Oh, look at this guy. Nathan, something's rattling under my hood. Maybe I should swing by the repair shop and... Ah! Yeah, better get that checked out. Good luck finding Big John. Thanks. Anyways, that's Crimson Skies. Great game.